Hi everyone, this video is just to show you how to use the Digipixel graphic converter program uh, that I've made. Uh, it's very simple to use uh, and this video will just show you the, the process of um, getting a picture, converting it and then importing it into your Arduino sketch. So once you've opened up the program, um, it'll look like this and a lot of these buttons and things won't be accessible to you until you actually open a graphic. So the first thing is we'll go to paint and we'll draw ourselves an image. So let's set the attributes to, let's just keep it 100 wide by 32 high. Now the converter program can only accept 8 pixels high, 16 or 32, which lines up nicely with an 8 pixel high um, LED screen, 16 pixel high or 32 pixel high screen. So we'll leave it like that. I'll start with a black canvas, so all LEDs are off. And let's zoom in a bit. Uh, just so it's a bit easier to see. Now, since we're using RGB LEDs and we're only turning them on or off, uh, that gives us eight colors, which is black, which is off, white, all LEDs on, then we've got red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta. That's your eight different colors. So if I was designing a, um, a game, let's say, and the game area was 32 pixels high, by 100 pixels across. Uh, this is where I'd start with this canvas. So let's start by putting in um, some grass, let's say. So let's just paint a whole heap of here in grass. There we go. Maybe a bit of a hill over here. And then maybe I'd like to have uh, some clouds up here. Cloud over here, and let's put in some little blocks for our characters to jump on maybe. There's a block there, there's a block there. And then maybe there's something like a castle or something over here we can go into. So it's very rough. Drawing here. All right, there's our graphic. Let's save that as. Let me just resize this for you. We'll call that um, test level one. Okay, that's saved. I'm going to go back to my converter. I'll open that up. Pictures. Test level one, and there it is there, that's the original image. So what I can do here is I can um, I can have a look at, there's the dimensions, 32 by 100, it's detected that it's going to use up 1600 bytes of my Arduino program memory. Um, and I can change that by um, checking or unchecking these boxes here. So if I don't want to export some colors, then I can just uncheck it, and you can see now it goes, it goes down. Um, if I take away green, if I take away blue, if I take away everything, obviously it's not going to take up anything. In this case, I want everything. And I'll talk about the barriers in a second. Let's call this my level 1, for instance. Click Convert. Now, the converted image just looks the same as the original image because I'm just using um, the, the standard eight, eight different colors there, or not even the eight. Now, notice that there's no barriers in here. So the reason I've got barriers in there, or the reasons you would have barriers, is uh, if you're playing a game and you don't want your character to be able to go past a certain point, for example, um, they can't go through walls or they can't fall through the floor, uh, that's where your barrier data comes in. But notice how I've got none in this picture. So first of all, let me, so I've converted that, and it's come up with data has been copied to the clipboard. So I'll go into my Arduino sketch, paste it, and there it all is there. I'm using longs, which is um, 32 bits per, um, per uh, <laughs> kind of thing, what to say. So 32 bits, which is a long word. I think they also call it uint, like unsigned integer 32 or something. Um, and it's called my level one, and then it breaks it down into red, green, blue, and the barriers right there. And you can see there's a hundred of them because the image was a hundred pixels wide. Alright, but if I come back here, there's no barriers. 
<clears throat> so what I'm going to do is go back to my image and if you notice that I used um, red, I used yellow, I used green, I used white um, and so forth. So what I might want to do here is if I want this grass to be a barrier so my player can't walk through there, I use the dark green. So I'll click dark green and now I'll make that dark green and let's say I want to be able to jump on these blocks I make it dark yellow and let's say that I want to be able to walk into this door over here I'll make a whole heap of this dark red so I don't want to be able to get through this part of it but I do want the player to be able to walk through here so he can get to the door so I'll leave that light red now I'll save this as level 2 and we'll have a look at the difference so file open pictures test level 2 convert so again data has been copied to the clipboard but now look the converted image looks exactly the same as before but now check out the barrier data notice everywhere I had the dark uh, green it's now a barrier so now I'll be able to um, in my code check um, to see check to make sure I can't fall through a barrier or move through a barrier um, and then if you have a look at the clouds for instance and have a look at this little tiny bit of red here um, there's no barrier there so that means my character would be able to move through it so that's where this barrier um, data output comes into it but if you don't if you're not making a game if you just want um, some text to say um, well like for example I've got um, hi, I'm Brad. Open up that. Convert that. I don't need barriers. Convert that. Um, it just says, hi, I'm Brad. Uh, right there. Um, so that's it. Just um, draw up your picture in paint. Open it in this graphic converter. Um, choose what colors you want to be exported. Uh, for example, if I only did red here, and then pasted it in. Let's get rid of that. You can see only red comes out um, in that instance. Uh, so that's it. So draw up your graphic, um, open it up in the converter, and then paste it into the Arduino sketch. And, um, and that's pretty much it. It automatically detects um, if it's 8 pixels high, 16 or 32, and it will assign either a byte, a word, or a long word um, to those. All right, that's it. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.